I am Patrick Peterson, cornerback of the Arizona Cardinals and a proud member of the LSU family. Picked off by Peterson, the 25. There's a lot of guys from LSU tearing it up in the NFL right now. And it is caught for the touchdown by Odell Beckham Jr. What a run by Jarvis Landry to break a couple of tackles and get in the end zone. But the one I'm most proud of is my best friend, Tyron Matthew. Are you not entertained? If they not, they going to be. Throws and it's intercepted on Matthew, and he's going to take it to the house. A 32-yard return by number 32, the Badger. Time has always made football look easy, but maybe that's because everyday life was the hard part. I still come back to New Orleans because, you know, this, this is my home. I felt like it taught me a lot of things, you know, about life. I was basically raised and nurtured by my grandparents. My mother was, was really young when she had me. My biological father um, is in prison uh, for, for murder. My grandfather died, so my grandmother took my older sister, and my family felt like I needed a father figure, so they thought it was best if I move with my uncle who was my adopted father. Family decision, um, we, I felt like just, just giving back to also, and um, just giving love when we can. I just moved with my adopted parents, and their kids were into sports. I'd never been introduced to sports yet, so um, I was five when I scored my first touchdown. It was always fascinating going outside and playing any kind of ball with him because it's not just football, it's baseball, basketball, anything he was always excellent at. We were kind of blindsided ourselves because when we first adopted Tyrant, none of us knew he had any athletic talent like that. The people out there would say, who's that kid? He was real quiet in high school, didn't say much. He, you know, just tried to lead by example. He had the heart of a lion. So right now we're at Kerry Curley Park in New Orleans East, one of those special places. And there'll be times we'll come to the park and it'll just be gangbangers at the <laughs> yeah. park. And, like, they don't even know how to play basketball, but <laughs> they just want to play, play against play. us. They want to beat us so bad, you know what I mean? But We wasn't leaving the court unless we was the winners and the champs. Yeah, it, you know, was him. So. it was him who, who, who he, All the time, he never wanted to lose. He refused to lose. He didn't want to nah. leave. Yeah. Playing against murderers, <laughs> robbers, and you know, it just teaches you a different side of being tough. Without sports, I, don't, I can't say that I have a true identity. The things that people respect me for is because of sports, you know? So I only had one focus, you know, and that was to really beat everybody yeah. <laughs> that got in front of me. And um, yes. Yes. that's what it was all about, man. I met Tyron on his recruiting trip to LSU, and we hit it off immediately. I think the first thing I ever told him was that I was going to be better than him. And um, I'm still working on that. <laughs> he took off on the field and was a star, shuffling past defenders with crazy quickness and earned himself the legendary nickname, the Honey Badger. I was like, what is a Honey Badger? My defensive coordinator at the time, John Chavis, came up to me and uh, he said, yeah, this is what everyone's calling you. And he showed me this crazy video. Honey Badger's been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a shit. He was like, this is the most badass animal I've ever seen. Tyron was a Heisman Trophy finalist in his sophomore season, but with all the success came pressure. I didn't have as much fun as I had my freshman year. I'm the reason this game is won or lost. And, you know, when, you, when you're considered the best player on the team, they expect you to turn the game around and, you know, to make those plays every game. And, and I didn't really know what all came with being a, a, a superstar. Before training camp started his junior year, Tyron had failed multiple drug tests for marijuana. Tyron Matthew is no longer on our team violated team policies. He didn't want to let me go. Um, and even he's crying and, you know, he's tearing up and, and it was just, you know, just looking at my whole life kind of running away from me. It was devastating, it was embarrassing, you know, it was hurtful, but 
need to get to work. You know, let's, let's get him back on track. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Four former LSU football players arrested on drug charges. You're looking at new video of the men being taken away in handcuffs from a Baton Rouge police substation. For Tyron Matthew, this is a letdown. He attended rehab, was attempting to rejoin the team. For me, when I went to jail, you know, and this is after everything, you know, this is after losing the national championship and, you know, getting kicked out of school and, um, I didn't, I didn't, I, w I wouldn't say that I would have put a gun to my head, but I didn't want to be the same person that I was, you know, like I felt like that life I was living, like it wasn't sustainable. I thought it was a good idea for him to get away from Baton Rouge, so I invited him to live and train with my family in South Florida, preparing for the NFL. Still too shallow, but that, that worked. And every time I was around Pat, we had fun, but we stuck to the script. So I felt like I needed to get back around that type of, type of environment, those type of people. Finish, 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 finish. Well, it, it is uh, settling into another long evening for Teron Matthew, the former LSU cornerback, as he waits to hear where his name will be called. Will it be in the second round? Will it be in the third round? Will it be part of day three's coverage? As the draft approached, I was in our general manager, Steve Kine's ear, 24-7, telling him Ty was a game changer that we needed. I felt like I was a first-round talent. I just didn't know who would take a risk on me. Ty, I'm on the phone with Michael Bidwell, the president and owner of the Cardinals, and Steve, I'm the GM. They want a commitment from us that they want to do uh, a drug testing policy and also work on roster bonuses versus all going in signing bonuses. Are you good with that? Good with that. Here he is. That's Michael Bidwell. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yes, sir. Man, you got, you got my word. Thank you, guys, man. With the 69th pick, the Arizona Cardinals select Tyron Matthew. And there it is. The wait is over for Tyron Matthew. I was pumped when I heard I was going to be reunited with my best friend. I knew he was jumping up and down when I got drafted. I think God does everything for a reason. I really believe that, you know, that was the right place for me. <laughs> Hitting the field after being away for a year, it didn't take long to realize the Badger was back. I think it was just vintage Honey Badger. I just wanted it. After looking deep middle, it's caught by Cook at the 30. Inside the 20, 15, 10. He fumbled the ball at the 5. It's loose in the end zone. You have got to be kidding me. Honey Badger, that's what that kid does. We're not out of the first quarter of the 2013 season. <laughs> He's already saved the touchdown. And we just saw it. Say, so, yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play in the NFL. So it's pretty cool. He was making big plays, but more importantly, he was sticking to the strip. They test you for everything, so it's really no way around it. You know, for me, I was I was up to 10 times a month at, at, at one point, so I was pretty much twice a week. You're required to tell them everywhere that you're gonna be. Um, if you leave your if you leave your house, you have to give them the address to the house that you're going to. Um, if you miss a test, uh, counts as a fail. Um, you miss two. You're pretty much done. He wasn't done being tested though. Runs right and still going, running backwards at the 25. But he gets wrestled to the ground. He got hit by 12 ramps. Initially, I didn't really know what it was. Um, I just knew I rolled my knee. And he got up and uh, trying to jog off the field, but uh, couldn't do it. You want to talk about a guy that has played as well as maybe any rookie I have seen. I tore my ACL, my LCL, my hamstring, and my IT band. And here's another obstacle that I got to get over. Oh, I just felt so terrible for him. You know, I, I knew that uh, he had come from a dark place and was, was having such a great career start. Didn't want him to go back. And uh, I knew we had a support system in place that if we got him back in the, in the rehab for his knee and was around our players every single day, we'd be, he'd be all right. <sighs> Tyron knee injury is fully healed, and 2015 has become the year of the Honey Badger. Wilson to pass, looks deep, firing middle of the field, and it is intercepted by Matthew at the 40. The Badger don't care. 
This is my year to kind of right all my wrongs. LSU, getting drafted in the third round. I feel like this is the year that everything is going to make sense. Caught by Barnage, and he is leveled by the Badger. This game is meant for the Badger, right? Yeah, I see it. Let's be great, all right? Let's go. Oh, he's playing lights out. You know, he's healthy, and he's playing like an all-pro. Has time. Floats it down the far sideline. Intercepted by Matthew at the 40. Runs back to the right at the 30. And tackled at the 26. Proud of where I'm from, you know, New Orleans. And it's always going to give you a challenge and an obstacle to get over. There's it's just so many different levels of appreciation. New Orleans made time, but it didn't break him. He's proud of where he's from, and I can't wait to see where he's going.